What's up? Welcome to part three of my five-part pseudo series on just random CFOP tricks. A couple, for that matter. I still don't know what the title's going to be. I'm just kind of filming this off the cuff. But first trick. So this is some more PLL stuff. This is a bit, again, you know, mostly AUF specific. It's not like I found a good new PLL because that's never really a thing ever because it's 2019. Um, but as for these two G perms, so you've got the headlights aligned in the back. Although you would prefer to recognize like the two swap happening here. Uh, maybe like these stickers matching the front. And you got the one with the block here and the one G perm with the block here. So normally people would do something like U prime and then the R U G G perm. Like that. Or you could be woke and do a fat U prime and then cancel both those AUFs at the end like that. So I'll show that again. Uh, so again, so do U prime into stuff, fat U prime, and then it's all good. And this case works the exact same way, so normally I would see people do U prime and then that annoying U D at the end. Or you could do fat U prime. And then cancel both those AUFs. So that's a nice little tidbit of just AUF efficiency for those two G perms. For the other two, I don't think there's any real trick. It can be applied to the other two G perms, I just don't think it's worth it because I think the best G perms for those two are the RUF one, and for the other one, the IUD one that looks like that. We do like R prime D F, or we could have the block in the front do F prime U prime F. Now for the ZBLS trick. So, here we go. Uh, we'll do some, we'll do some stuff to call for fun, why not? So it's this F12 case, uh, normally you do like that, or maybe that, or maybe that. But the way you recognize it is opposite to the F12 edge is one oriented edge, nothing else is oriented. We're on green. We're not doing just white cross because we're not plebs. You can either hold from this angle and do F, U prime, and then make the pair from like this pseudo free slot, like that. Or you could see this and go like R, U prime, rotate, and then do that. So it's um, it's pretty fast. It's only seven moves. It's, it's one of those cases where it's like low move count. Decent finger tricks, at least good enough given like how efficient it is. So you're really just capitalizing on the efficiency here. And then the mirror... It can involve RUB turning or LUF turning. I prefer the RUB turning, but again, because it's so lo low move count and the finger tricks are good enough, it's it's worth knowing in my opinion. Uh, there we go. So from here, maybe you're holding it from here, for example, and you would recognize you do something like that, or something like that. Hopefully not that. <laughs> um, but again, you could do like L prime U, pair it up like that. Or if you're holding it from here, R prime fat D, like that. Or if you're over here for some reason, you could do that. Or if you somehow spot it from here and you're super super cool, you could do that as well. So that's a, that's a really nice trick that I that I quite like. And I think most people should know it, even if you're not taking ZBLL that seriously. It's good to know like the good ZBLS cases because if you can spend the same amount of time on a pair. Um, that you would otherwise go. I think that solution is about as fast as the normal F12 solution, but instead of getting a two edge OLL, you get a four edge. So, I mean, it's just bringing you closer to solve and just like, by basic logic, it just makes sense to try and use those cases where you can. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.